WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White, here at TFNN. So what do we have? Well, market uh, tried to pop today. Uh, last I looked, we were at the, uh, and around the lows of the day. That's uh, 4,051 on the S&P cash. We're at 4,052. I think we saw that uh, 4,051 right after the open. Uh, so we're still up uh, six or so points on the S&P cash. Uh, the question is, uh, did we get anything uh, of note in volume in this uh, bounce today? And the answer is no. Uh, so we have kind of gone back up to the previous highs. Uh, if volume continues to cra uh, track the way it has uh, pretty much uh, throughout the day, eh, well, we're doing about $6.2 billion on the CBOE consolidated tape. If anybody wants to uh, mesh with my uh, volume uh, quotes, uh, you can uh, email me at path at tfnn.com. I'll be glad to send you a link to the CBOE volume. But it's uh, torn apart uh, nine ways to Sunday, so you can see how the NASDAQ and uh, others, uh, the uh, NYSE and where the volume's coming from. Um, but uh, they, they've got uh, got a pretty good uh, bead on where it's coming from and where it's at. Uh, but as I said, uh, for the most part, you know, you're just a hair higher out here. We had a pop. Uh, probably the big news uh, that we're going to go through over the next uh, day or two, uh, and some of the stuff I'm going to talk uh, today about is uh, people saying buy, buy, buy this morning. It doesn't matter how expensive it is, uh, better buy. That was on Apple this morning. Uh, Walmart is closing some stores across the country. We'll talk about that and why. Uh, Iran may have found the second largest lithium deposit in the world. So maybe they'll be back in that. Uh, of course, uh, Fed is going to be, uh, Powell is going to be in front of Congress for the next two days. And AM radio may be kaput. We'll talk about that more in a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest 